Yes, the ocean is very unforgiving when your battery won't start your boat. Batteries die or lose power at the worst times. Hey, this is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures, and last Sunday my family was here on vacation, went to the sandbar, and actually was trying to go to the sandbar, and dead battery. Fortunately, I had a second battery system, or I should say I had a second battery in the boat. It wasn't hooked up, but it was in there, it was mounted, and it was charged. And I was able to save the day. It took five minutes to swap the battery from one side to the other, and everything was good. Now everybody's gone, and I want to make the dual battery setup a reality. This is just part one, and the boat, even as I speak, the whole system is not yet put together. So I guess you would say this is a work in progress. You have three basic installs for a second battery. You can install it like I did, just have it sit there. You can do uh, the old school battery switch, which I call the traditional switch. And the traditional switch just has an off, a one, battery one, battery two, and both. So it's four positions. And there are some challenges with this, especially if you leave it on in both and run the battery, run every battery, run both batteries down. Option three is an isolating battery switch. And that's the one I chose. This video though is not about the installation of that at this moment. This is just putting in the second battery. The isolating dual battery switch will separate the battery charging up the engine, or I should say running the engine and starting it, and the other battery will run your accessories. And they will not drain from each other. So you got to figure out what side to put the battery on. Initially I was going to put it on the port side next to the other battery, but after I thought about it and I realized how how hard it would be to get in and out, get two batteries in and out, I decided to move it over to the uh, starboard side. So I purchased a battery tray and some screws and a battery strap and I bought these, uh, I think these are number six wires. Do not get these. Do not use number sixes. Get yourself some number fours. Four gauge. Batter, this battery box and the battery strap work perfect. So you're going to install this battery and I installed it parallel in the hold on the uh, starboard side just almost identically the way it was set up uh, on the uh, port side. I put it back, I tested it out and imagining if the battery's in there how easy it is to get it in and out of that tray because you got to go underneath the the frame of the boat to get up under there because if you put it if you put the battery so close that it's easily accessible you're taking away some of your room in your hold for some things that are maybe necessary to go in there and not be all scrunched around a battery initially I thought it would go sideways like that east to west and I said no after I looked at it I was like let's put this in north to south and have it as close to the wall of the the bulkhead as possible but still allowing room to be able to get some other wires up there so once I got it laid figured out I marked it with these two front corner holes drilled the holes and then drilled the back holes and then I realized as you're gonna see here in a moment that the uh, battery tray uh, being so far back I wasn't able to drop the screws properly in place so I actually had to cut back some of the plastic tray to get uh, my fingers in there to drop the screws straight through the holes and into the pilot holes that I had already drilled. I used a nail to uh, position the, the battery tray where I wanted it so I could reach back there and drill it and then have the uh, the battery tray came come out easy before I fully mounted it uh, permanently. I did only use four screws, one at each corner. I didn't bother putting anything in the uh, middle. Seemed to be doing just fine. 
having it in this position allows you room to still drop a lot of stuff into the hold and have the battery relatively easily accessible by just unclipping it and pulling it out by its strap just like you do the the oem hey if you're working on your boat and you haven't got knee pads yet you should try it out boy it makes it a lot easier to crawl around on this boat on these hard on the hard uh, the hard deck and everything on your knees when you're doing projects oh look at that needed a haircut so here's where i had to trim around the shoulders to get the ability to, for me to be able to get my fingers down there and set the screws in position. I just did a quick and dirty heat up a heat up a blade, run it into the plastic, and then break the little tabs off. Works really well. Real simple. No fuss, no muss. Just get it done. So with the cutout on the shoulders, I was able to drop the screws right down into the holes and into the pilot holes, making this much easier. Okay, do not put a car battery in your marine application. Get a deep cycle marine battery. Boat batteries go in boats, car batteries go in cars. Now you can see here I've got the wires hooked up. There is a switch now mounted on the other side where the stock battery is and that's in the next video. Yes, I'm using a yellow wire in place of a black wire and that's why I've got it labeled. We'll see you at the next video. Aloha.